What's up and welcome to the channel. Today's episode we're going to be finishing up this Global MX-5 Cup car by getting everything painted and getting it put back together. So stay tuned and don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. Let's start this video off by getting the interior sanded and all taped up and ready for paint. So when we put the inner outer wheelhouse on these cars, the inner wheelhouse is actually part of the interior of the car. And we have to paint that whatever color the, the interior is. On this car, it's long road chassis gray. We also have to paint this section in here. Now I've already got it seam sealed. And as you can tell, there's a lot of creative masking that goes along with painting this interior part. We've got all that taped up, everything is scuffed. So let's start painting. So the interior paint job turned out really good. While we're waiting on it to dry, let's go ahead and start prepping some of these parts in order to get another booth load ready. Got the interior color painted now we can start working on the outside of this car now this will be our third booth load we're going to be painting the quarter panel some doors and some small pieces also going to be spotting in where this core support's been welded we'll get this all taped up right now and then we can start painting car and the doors are in the booth and everything's been sanded and taped up. We've also wiped everything down with wax and grease remover and tacked it off with a tack rag. So we're ready to start spraying. The first thing we're going to be applying to the car is going to be PPG's ECS 85 which is their EnviroBase gray chromatic sealer.
We've let our sealer flash off for about 15 minutes, and we've got our PPG's EnviroBase waterborne base coat mixed up in the gun. Now we're going to be applying two cover coats, followed by one control coat with a flash time in between each coat. We've got our base coat sprayed on there and everything looks covered and everything looks really good. We've given it plenty of time to flash off, so now we can start spraying some clear. Now we've got some DC 3000 mixed up in the gun, so let's go ahead and put two coats of this on everything in the booth. All right, so we've got everything cleared in the booth. Let's go check it out. All right, so I think everything looks awesome. We're gonna let this thing dry overnight. We'll come back in the morning, and get everything put back together. In the meantime, I'm gonna get out of this paint suit and head to the house. We're here the next morning. Let's get this thing untaped, get it out of the booth, and start putting it back together. So while my dad and my brother start putting this MX-5 back together, I've got to black out the inside pocket of this brand new door with a semi-gloss black. So I'm going to go ahead and get it all sanded and get it taped up. I also have to paint a shiny black mirror cover, so we're going to get that in the booth also. So let's start getting this stuff ready to paint. All right, so the customer wants me to wrap these front brake ducts with this fluorescent yellow vinyl that he sent. Now the problem is 
as you can see here, they're all pitted up and kind of rusty. And I'm afraid that the vinyl won't stick very well. So I'm going to sand these down to bare metal and then put some etch primer on and then paint them with the matte black the same time I paint the inside of the door. Everything in the booth is ready to go. I've got the door pocket scuffed down and taped up. I've got the front brake ducts stripped to bare metal and then I prime them with an edge primer and I've got the mirror cover scuffed and set up on a stout stand. Now I'm going to be spraying the mirror cover with a single stage black that's going to dry glossy and I'm going to be spraying the door pocket and the front brake ducts with a single stage black that's going to dry semi gloss. So let's go ahead and spray this stuff now. This booth load is done and it turned out great. You can tell when we walked around that I've already pulled off the fine line tape off of the black edge of the door and the paint is already starting to dull out as it dries. It gets a little bit like a semi gloss or a matte finish on it when it dries out. So while this stuff is drying, I'm going to go help my dad and my brother get this MX-5 back together.
Now that the paint on these brake ducts have dried, we can go ahead and get this neon wrap put on them. Before we put these new splash shields in, we're going to have to cut out notches for clearance for these brake duct hoses. All right, so we finally got this thing put back together. Let's get it off the jack stands and we can call the customer and let him know it's ready to be picked up. Man can't live on bread alone. He must have some peanut butter. All right, so that's going to be about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, hit that like button and share it with your friends. 
And if you're new to the channel, and this is the first time you've ever seen me, consider subscribing, clicking on the bell icon, that way you won't miss any future content. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. See you.